Good afternoon. This morning we heard from two panels uh, to listen to their experiences with oversight and operations of air shows and air races. And this afternoon we look forward to hearing for some, from some of the performers and participants in those air shows. Um, we've learned a lot of good information, gotten some things on the record that I think are very important for us as we investigate accidents at air shows and air races, but there's still a lot to learn, and we look forward to the testimony that we're going to receive this afternoon. I'm happy to take any questions you have. The question is, are the current regulations adequate and based on the responses that we heard from uh, many of the participants this morning, uh, they said that they thought that the standards were adequate as they were, as they exist now. Well, certainly we have seen five fatalities last year involving air show performers and 11 fatalities at the Reno Air Race. The reason why we're having this hearing today is to understand what can be improved. And as far as safety goes, uh, we always have something to learn whenever there's an accident. And so we're looking at all of the investigations. We've got 11 current investigations involving air show or air race accidents. We'll be looking at each of those to see if there's any lessons that we can learn to protect both the performers and the spectators. The question is, is the lack of certification for air shows and air bosses. I think this is exactly the kind of information that's very helpful to put out in a public forum to, to be able to gather this information and have these conversations. The air bosses play a very important role in the conduct of air shows, and uh, we will be certainly looking at that um, as, as, as we move forward. It's good information. We did hear George Klein on the second panel actually say that the air bosses would likely welcome uh, some sort of standardization or certification. The safety board, uh, it's very early uh, in the process, and so really this is an inf opportunity for us to gather information, not come to any conclusions. Well, we're looking very, the question is about the setbacks for performer performances, uh, particularly with the crowds and spectators. And we're looking, obviously, at that issue very closely. Um, we have seen very good uh, safety results as far as air shows, uh, very uh, limited uh, fatalities, um, and majority of those are for the performers, not spectators. But uh, we did see a terrible accident last year at Reno where there were spectators that were killed. And so at the, at the board, we want to understand what the federal regulations are. We want to understand what the show uh, standards and requirements are and the air races, what they set for themselves. And we want to make sure that the limitations of the human and the machine are respected and that when, uh, the, when it comes to spectators and crowds, that they are protected. Performers are ex assuming a certain level of risk. We understand that. But when spectators come to an event, uh, they are coming to be entertained, and they don't expect uh, to be in a situation where their lives are at risk. The question is, how long will it take before uh, any safety changes are made? And I think that um, safety changes can happen anytime. Uh, as you've heard today, uh, some of the participants have talked about some changes that they are going to make voluntarily, some things that they are looking at. So whether it's the FAA or the shows uh, or the individuals involved, they can make changes. They can learn from their experiences and they have the ability to evaluate what's going on. Uh, we've heard today that there are going to be uh, other uh, safety panels, blue ribbon panels that are going to be looking at things. We encourage people to move forward when it comes to safety changes. The safety board is very meticulous and thorough in our accident investigations, and we are investigating 11 accidents now. We will uh, determine the probable cause for those accidents and, if appropriate, make safety recommendations. Our safety recommendations could come out 
at any time uh, when we develop issues. And so uh, we'll certainly be monitoring them and we'll be taking what we've learned here today to help us in that process. One more question. Yes. The question is about medical uh, medical certificates, and all uh, all pilots uh, are required to undergo a medical examination. And the question was: Is there any special type of examination for uh, qualified pilots for air shows or air races when it comes to medical? And the answer that we heard today from the uh, witnesses was no. There are no uh, additional requirements for pilots performing in air shows or air races beyond those that are required to get a pilot's license. And there are different classes of, uh, of a medical evaluation. Uh, they're good for certain durations of time, but there is not a special endorsement or a special exam for uh, show pilots. And so uh, certainly that's an issue that we had questions about today, and we'll be looking at that as we move forward. Thank you all very much.